Now this is all for you, you clowns on YouTube that say I'm not a mechanic every time I say I'm a mechanic. But anyways, that's not the point. Intake gaskets. Time for new ones. She was leaking pretty bad. Uh, I got them over here. I don't want to touch the damn things. I just washed my hands. There's your problem. These were fairly new, too. Uh, they were replaced at one point. I don't know how long ago. Fairly recently. This one here doesn't look too bad. It was mostly the front head. So, show you here right quick. Fails in these things because people don't really realize it. Uh, this sits in here like this. And your intake manifold goes in on top of it. Well, this is your coolant passage. Right here is your coolant passage. So when these seals let go, like look at that. There's pieces now, I can tell you. There's pieces of this floating around in the coolant system because, as you can see, once it's broke, it don't take nothing to break them off. Now they're floating around in the cooling system. It's beat up by the impeller and the water pump and whatnot, so that's why I'm doing a complete coolant flush. But anyways, coolant will flow and seep up through here and down through here and mix with your oil. As you can see, there is coolant there and there so this will all be brake cleaned out cleaned up properly fresh oil fresh coolant yeah not much fun not a big job that took me like an hour and a half I suppose to get down to the block like this down to the heads valley pan as I thought that broke that's somewhere's around here in about 30 pieces. There's a piece of it. There's a piece of it. There's a piece of it. There's an O-ring from it. Yep, fuel rail. 42 and a half pound injectors. Or sorry, those are stock 36 pound injectors. Where the hell is the 30? I got a set of 42 and a half pound injectors here anyway. There's the bad boy that makes the power. If you guys want to see what's under this, just uh, let me put you down for a sec. Yeah, that'll work. So basically what happens is, I don't know how good you can see, but those rotors spin forcing air into the motor when your bypass valve is closed. This is your bypass solenoid valve. Yeah. I don't know why that's you guys are looking at me. And over here is my intake manifold. That's the EG airport. On the back side of this is where you have your coolant line comes in. It looks similar to that, but what happened was a piece of it broke off and I was taking the elbow out in several pieces and it went inside, so I had to try and fish that out with a, a dental pick. That wasn't too much fun, but she's all cleaned up. Well, that side's not. This side is. She's all cleaned up and ready to go on. As soon as I get the proper gasket. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, well. Oh, no, it didn't go in there. Anyways... Plenum gaskets, right? But I can't use these. These are the ever famous failing stock style gear. They're plastic. Plastic has no place in an engine, man. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, yeah, I might be a little old school. I like my big blocks. But you know what? There's no need for plastic in a motor. Wife's car is an old four grand am. It's got a plastic intake manifold. Like, that's just a vacuum leak waiting to happen. Anyways, who cares?
Sorry for the odd view there. Just trying to rebox this stuff. Gonna take these back. I already called them. They're not used. I just opened them up, looked at them. And as you can see, I just placed them back in their packaging. They weren't cheap either. Uh, that's for the factory gaskets. That's for what's just in this box. The plenum gasket, which is in this box, is only like 17 bucks. So, yeah, that's what we pay for stuff in Canada. Yep. So all in all, it cost me like 300 bucks because I don't have a proper, well I do now, inch-pound torque wrench. 3H drive for doing the intake manifold bolts. I don't want to break nothing off. What I might do is I got new spark plugs in the Park Avenue, same motor. Brand new spark plugs, brand new wires, brand new coil packs. So I gotta wait until Monday to get my hands on the intake manifold gasket set in the coolant elbow. So I wait till Monday. I might as well put those coil spark plugs in. New valve pan cover gaskets here somewhere. Might as well put them on. Yeah, stay tuned.